guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl AZ Nia Williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel can you click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video okay guys so we're starting off today's just with actress tone to DK these are not good times for her as she has been dragged left right and center why you would ask me well um some few weeks ago she came out and posted this award that she allegedly or supposedly got from the un yes an ambassadorial award well um she has been called out by the united nations kenya director ronald kayanja yes so um ronald kayanja said that has so-called awards has nothing to do with the un in a brief interview with bbc pigeon the director clarified in this noting that many scam bodies posing to be united nations and defrauding unsuspecting persons then also um Ben Dotsen Malor, the chief editor of the Daily's United Nations, also took to Facebook where Tonto had announced her award to clarify the disconnection of the so-called award from their institution. And I'm going to read what he wrote. He said, please, 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 with all my due respect, there is no UN award or recognition called the United Nations International Abas Ambassador. This has absolutely nothing to do with the United Nations and working at the UN in New York please this is totally misleading to say the least and probably and most probably fraudulent to be frank yes people of God this is what happened um what do I think about this ah I don't know because this is like the second time this is happening this year with Tonto DK. The first one, I think it was, um, is it the Christian Association of Nigeria or something like that that gave her an award or supposedly gave her an award and they also came out later to claim that it was false, that they never gave her that award. I mean, if you guys have been uh, following the news, you would have heard that and which in turn turned her ex-husband to say something malicious or sarcastic about it and all that now again she is in the news for the very same reasons well i don't know this seems somehow i'm waiting for her to come out to clarify this issue until then i really don't think i have an opinion but first since the people that are working there said that this is not a real award then i probably will believe them because i don't think they would even have any reason to come at tonto or to drag her you know personal reasons i don't think so because they don't even know her like um personally if you ask me so yeah i'm waiting for her to come out to actually clarify this issue because it's messy and it's almost like it's becoming like a habit kind of thing like the, she comes out with an award and the next thing is being discredited it's not nice it's kind of very very messy now away from tonto decay let's go over to bob risky and Toyin Lawani. So, um, fashionista and fashion designer Toyin Lawani came out yesterday to give us the news that she lost her dad, which is quite very, very sad. Yes. And, um, a lot of people were sending messages, condolences, and all that. Now, surprise, surprise, one of the people that came out to send a condolence message to her is none other than our own Nigerian Barbie Boboriski. Yes. So, he wrote this and said, I I heard Tiana's dad passed on. Sorry, Toyin Lawani for the loss. Yes, we might have issues, but not to a point of losing someone you'll never see again. RIP to her dad. Yes, some of you might be shocked. I wish her well. It's her dad we are talking about. Someone she will never see again in her life. Regardless of what is going on between us, I feel I should send my condolence to her. This doesn't mean we have stopped fighting or continue fighting. This is just me being emotional. RIP to her dad. Now, while some people were commending Bob Risky for this um, effort, some other people were like, can't he just call her or send this message privately? Now, this is what I think. These people are fighting publicly. Like, their fight is not some private fight. It happened you know in front of us it happened you know we saw it happen on social media so but basically coming out to put this on social media i really don't fault him in this 
you know i really don't fault him at all rather i actually commend him you know for actually putting aside their differences and knowing that okay this is a time to actually be sensitive a time to be emotional because this is something that is you know very very dear to someone so yeah i commend him for this you know those that said he would have sent a private message you don't even know if he actually did but i applaud him for actually coming out openly because the fight was made in the open and if he did privately and come out to say oh yes i did privately you people will still drag him so that is what i think about that and once again um our condolences to tiana yes now away from all those you know emotional stories <laughs> let's go over to some entertainment like real entertainment just so first of all check out the three generation of the nelsons i think it's the nelsons or praise nelson well praise nelson's family actually the guys so i didn't know that this Nigerian actor over here, the one in the red t-shirt, is actually Praise Nelson's dad. I did not know. If you are a Nigerian or maybe you are just a lover of Nollywood, they, um, let's just say they are Sabawood, you know, and you have seen their movies. You surely see this man acting as one chief or maybe somebody's father or maybe some village guy or something. And he actually, actually kills his roles. Trust me, he does. I mean, who would have thought that he is Praise Nelson's dad? Wow. When Praise shared this picture yesterday, a lot of people were like, it's a lie. While a lot of people were like, oh, okay, so your dad is a famous actor in Nigeria. That does that means that maybe, you know, this BB thing is about who you know. Me, I do not know, but all I know is this three generation of the Nelson men. I don't know if it's that his surname, whichever one, but they look cute. Now, moving on, people of God. So, David, those lawyer prince um, decided to do some q and a on his instagram story yesterday and he was asked all sorts of questions about trauma and all that but the one i'm actually going to be focusing on is the questions he was asked about kid Waya, nengi and erica yes some somebody actually asked him about um if kid Waya and erica are dating and he said he told you people he doesn't like those kind of questions so he moved on from that well let me start from the question about kid Waya. he was asked um what do you like most about kid and he said first it's his work ethic he loves to work and pays so much attention to detail that he makes my job so easy it's crazy secondly it's his punctuality he's an oyibo boy inside so he really really respects time lastly it's his heart i can't be close to someone that doesn't have a good heart sits and drink and thinks negatively or how to bring people down we won't even gel he'll just find me judging you you will just find me judging you and distance yourself JJ he he's actually a really great and thoughtful guy all that hard guy you you people see is for TV and this is really nice I mean I know from what I've observed about Kid Wire he might be somehow rough on the edges but one thing i know is he's actually a very great guy seriously he's a very nice guy see the way he interacts with people you would know anyway so he was asked about the one and only blueprint nengi pengi and they asked him tell us what you love about nengi pengi and he said she's a go-getter she sets targets and achieves them you see that house she had the money for it even two months okay she had the money for it ready even two months before she bought it she's also a workaholic she set to set back to back god bless your hustle sisi nene at nengi official now that i will agree she's a very focused person i mean you would always see her working on one project or the other so yeah i actually agree with this now he was asked about the one and only star girl erica and they asked him do you talk to erica if yes what do you like about her and he said yes i do what i like about her is she's very very loyal she doesn't play around once someone is her person it's a ride or die god bless her so at erica <laughs> well i mean you would only be um it's only a person that is blinded by hate that will say this statement about erica is false we saw that in the house how she practically fought for kid wire because kid wire was her person and we also saw how she also craved for other people's loyalty unfortunately for her um 
everybody is not built the same basically so she was looking for loyalty from people that let's just say didn't have the capacity to give that level of loyalty to her yeah but for her being very 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 loyal i will agree with that 101 percent we saw it in the house she's like this girl stuck on her neck for kid wire you know defending him and all that if if you are her person erica would definitely go the extra mile for you so yeah um i really really agree with what prince said and i think he's also kid wire's lawyer not i think he's actually kid wire's lawyer and also i think he's nengi's lawyer if i am not mistaken but i don't know if he's erica's lawyer i don't think so but they are all you know they interact you know yeah they all interact together now away from prince let's go over to tochi so tochi also took to his instagram story to ask a few questions yes and um or to answer a few questions so he was asked a lot of questions which he was answering but the one that actually caught my attention was this one he was asked do you think we okay do you think um there'll be a big brother lockdown wedding soon okay let me read that again do you think there'll be big brother lockdown wedding soon and he said preparations is already ongoing now this is the second if not the third time tochi is talking about bb niger lockdown weddings kilo day um the time i saw this you know when i saw his response the first thing that came into my mind was this guy is just whining you people she he's just giving you people something to talk about but then again i'm asking myself maybe it's true maybe it's not but then which couple would actually be making preparation for the wedding because from all we see the only couple that is official is new and v so and they don't even look like people that are ready to go to the altar yet my observation now which other couple really are we saying is also an nengi or kid boy and erica or maybe prince and dora <laughs> which one because or maybe <clears throat> maybe it's actually tochi himself and princess of um double wahala season who knows you know people of god let me know what do you think do you think that he's actually being serious because really the first time i saw it i was like this guy is just whining us he's not being serious he's only trying to get reaction to people for people to actually talk about him again really that's what i think let me know what you think about this whole thing in the comment section meanwhile there are preparations for the upcoming big brother niger reunion as you can see prince stepped out with his stylist swanky jerry and his sister and they visited this fashion house and um when you see prince and swanky jerry just know that there is some magic about to happen people of god and my mind is telling me that this is actually for the reunion you know how they have to wear stylish dresses because it's not just about coming here to talk about what you did it's about selling your market it's about looking good i mean even if you don't you know you are not that you know all that you just have to appear as if you are all that if you know what i mean you know so i think this is what is going on here well some crazy people are in my dm talking about oh that he's preparing for a wedding which wedding <laughs> okay maybe it might actually be wedding no no cap maybe i don't know but seriously i think this is about the reunion i think um the reunion is starting i thought it was on the 14th but i think it's on the 19th actually um not when it's airing i think i don't know when it's going to be aired maybe next month but i think it's going to be um not i think it's actually going to be um filmed from that date this month so we are keeping our fingers crossed for race we're keeping our fingers for all the basketballs that will happen meanwhile i don't know why i forgot to tell you kid wire actually landed himself a role in a hollywood movie yes so we gotta keep our fingers crossed for that and also i heard let's just say um dorothy's manager also implied that she actually has signed a deal with a makeup company mm -hmm. and i also heard oh keep your like let's take this one with a pinch of salt i also heard that kid wire and erica landed themselves a combined deal more like you see when um also and nengi had that um deal with i think jenny's glow dora and prince with vsc botanic something like that but i'm not saying it's a cream company or a cosmetics company no uh, but i heard that both of them had like a joint um 
um ambassadorial deal or something like that so yeah just take that with a pinch of salt you know that one i'm really really not sure about but i'm really sure about kid wire landing a movie role yeah that is one i am very sure about so guys on this note i draw the curtains on today's gist thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video till i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams have yourself a beautiful day ahead Bye, guys.